Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just taking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Jacob Toretto's Ford Mustang GT350 from the up and coming movie Fast and Furious 9. Now to create this build I have chosen the Dominator GTX in this because it is very very similar to what we need, a modern day Mustang. Now straight off the bat I'm going to mention one glaring issue we're going to have with this build, it is the big racing stripe that runs the whole length of the car, we've got a big white racing stripe that we cannot get for this GTX unfortunately but in my opinion the rest of the build is pretty mint so without any further ado let's get into it so as always we're going to start with 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the bumper we're going to go with the secondary extender then we're going to go to the engine we get a brace bar it doesn't lift the hood unfortunately so we can't see it but um, you can purchase whatever the fuck you want really I'm going to go with a GT strut brace then we're going to go to the engine tunes and you want to grab the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts, um, we have some really nice additions for these exhausts to be fair, um, but we do need the stock position unfortunately. It would be nicer if we had these, but um, like a quadruple exhaust system, that would be quite nice. Um, but unfortunately we've just got to do the, the, the dual pipes either side and that's the best that we can get. So we're going to have to take the stock exhausts. I'm going to skip past the fenders because all we get is body extensions we don't need them as far as I can see we do not need any of this and I'm glad we don't need any of this because as you can see with most cars in GTA when there's an arch extension the profile of the wheel or the offset of the wheel does not come out and it is really weird man how sunken in the wheels look when you add these arches and I'm not a massive fan so I'm very pleased that we don't have to add these then we go on to the grill again we don't need to change this because the other options other than this tuna grill, are pretty weak to be honest. Um, so stock grill is the one we're going to go for. Then we're going to move on to the hood. We need the big intake scoop on this. I can't think what it's called. It is this one, the vented hood scoop. That looks mean as hell. And it's pretty much bang on what we need. Then we're going to go to the lights and grab the Xeon headlights. We're going to skip past the mud guards, the plate. And then we're going to go to the rear panel. We are going to change this to secondary rear panel. Then we're going to move on to the respray for the primary colour. We're going to go classic and purchase blue. There we go. And then once you purchase that, you want to go into the secondary colour, also in classic. But this time we're going to grab black. Then we're going to go to the roof. We're going to grab this stripped roof. For the side skirts, we are going to go for this secondary street skirt. For the spoiler, we've got a really good spoiler for this. There we go, the secondary sports spoiler. For the suspension, we're going to slam it with a competition suspension. Transmission, obviously we're going to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, we're going to go into wheel typing into the sport category. Once we're in here, you want to go and grab some of these Mercy rims. Once you purchase them, you want to go into the wheel colour and purchase carbon black. Once you're here guys, you might as well go into the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. I know they probably don't have bulletproof tyres in Fast and Furious. Uh, well, saying that, they probably do these days, but <laughs> we're in Los Santos and you need that protection. So, I highly suggest grabbing the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build, as always, you're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So, there you go, my dudes. There is my build on Jacob Toretto's Ford Mustang GT350 from the up-and-coming movie Fast and Furious 9. Now, this is John Cena's car in the movie. Like I said, it is Jacob Toretto and is the brother of Dominic Toretto and Mia Toretto and I absolutely love the, the look of this car man, I think it looks awesome. Uh, the GT350 from the movie, from the limited photos I have seen, looks amazing. Uh, like I already said, a glaring issue with this build is the, ob the obvious <laughs> that we can't get that big white racing stripe down the centre which run the whole length of the car and it, it would finish this, this build off perfectly. And um, for a Mustang in GTA it is pretty shocking that we don't have that um, as an option because the racing stripes and Mustang go hand in hand and this kind of being like a Mustang I suppose is a bit like a, a modern Dodge as well it's kind of like a mix up between a, a Mustang and a Dodge but in my opinion it's got the body lines of a Ford Mustang um, the front end is a little bit suspect but you know it is what it is uh, but like I was saying it is very strange that Rockstar didn't add 
uh, you know the racing stripes to this to this car um, but I can see past it man everything else is pretty good um, it looks mean that roof scoop I mean the uh, the hood scoop just finishes it off for me it looks so good from the limited photos that I had I think this actually is turned out really really good so uh, that is going to be the end of the video my dudes hope you did enjoy this one if you did please smash that like button and also I'd like to hear your opinions on this video down in the comments let me know what you think I should have done differently if I should have used a different car this that and the other you know how it goes if you've got something to ask me if you've got something to mention make sure you hit it down in the comments below I'll get back to you if I see it but other than that guys like I said that's the end of the video make sure you hit like Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, I'm out. Adios.